Welcome to The Huddle, I'm Denise Jones, and I'm here with... Matt Demeke. Okay, so the Las Vegas oddmakers say that the 2017 Warriors would beat the 96 Bulls. Matt, what do you think? Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't see it. I know I know those that Bulls team was a really good defensive yeah. team, but the thing is, you gotta you gotta score to keep up with these Warriors. And on that team, Michael Jordan's the only one that had over 20 points per game. Right. Scotty Pippen was known as a defender. Dennis Rodman was known as the defender. And I don't think they can they can slow down Kevin Durant and Steph Curry, but I don't know. Clay Thompson could get wild. Draymond Green could get out there. So I don't I don't think the, the Bulls can beat them, to be honest. First off, I'm gonna tell you right now, Jordan doesn't go to game seven. Oh Jordan man. doesn't go to game seven. The fact he that will they, with this he, team, no, though. he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He, would. he doesn't go to game seven. So the fact that these guys have made it there already just shows that one the 96 team would not beat the Warriors. Also, Jordan and Pippen would control the entire game. I get that they have, I get that the Warriors have a trifecta now and it's like whatever. I actually enjoy watching them play, but I'm not gonna go ahead and diss the, the Bulls, especially because the calls that we get now compared to the calls that they got in the yeah, 90s it, it also, are completely different. It, it also depends what era we play in, but, but also you gotta see it this way. I mean, that team, that Bulls team obviously like, they're really, really, really good, and they can defend. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, this Warriors team is something we've never seen offensively, and I don't think they can slow them down. They can probably slow them down from 140 points a game to 120 points a game, but they can't. That Bulls team cannot score 120 points a game. So then, if okay, they come in this era, if the Warriors are as great as they, as you say they are, then mm -hmm. why did they take that loss last year? Because they I didn't have Kevin Durant. I can guarantee you right now. I can guarantee they, you right now. Okay, so then you. Because, by the way, you've only mentioned Kevin Durant like once or twice. You've been pushing Steph Curry. You've been pushing all these other guys. I'm gonna tell you right now that the '96 Bulls that would not have happened to them. Oh, it would have happened to them. I, I think it would have gone seven games, and I think the Warriors would have taken it in seven. And again, Jordan doesn't go <laughs> to game seven. But anyway, um, Justin Bieber basically tweeted out that he's a fan of any pro team that welcomes him. I'm feeling some type of way about that. I mean, he basically tweeted out he was a bandwagoner. Right. Like, we, we can't really like... He pretty like, much did. And yeah, he, he's a bandwagoner. And you know, the, the fun in sports is basically s sticking to one team. And loyalty. Having that, yeah, being loyalty, loyal loyalty, to a team. Loyalty. <laughs> I'm basically, look, I'm basically, I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan and I'm a Lakers fan and I'm going to stick with that. I don't care how bad they get. I don't care if they get rid of everybody. So I do not care. what if the Cavs care. welcomed you and we're like, yo, man, here's a jersey, you know, roll seats. A lot you're of people. You're going to sit next to LeBron. And, no, 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 no. You know, look, Rihanna. Every, <laughs> you're going to sit next to Rihanna, Matt. All right, maybe then. Rihanna See, would drop me in. But no, no, no. But look, look, look. Like, I can't, I can't diss my team. Justin Bieber is out here basically saying, Oh, if they give me a jersey and they treat me well, I'm going to be a fan of that team. I agree. You can't do that. I so. agree 100%. I feel like if you're a fan of any sport, one thing that is for sure, you have to pick one. You have to pick a team, maybe pick two teams, but at most you can't just say, oh, any pro team that welcome you, welcomes me. Okay, so that means like any brand that welcomes you, any artist, you're just going to work with any artist, Justin Bieber? No. Yeah. You're going to work with the artists that you choose that are nice to you, that are loyal to you, but not the ones that are just like fanning out over you it's just not how it works yeah and basically in sports too if you're a bandwagon you're it's looked, looked so down upon high. yeah it's ex frowned upon yeah and you're people weak. yeah if, if you're if you come out and say you're a warriors fan but then you can't name anybody before 20 uh 2013 right i mean nobody's gonna respect you you it's know true. so it's all about and just because you wear a jersey i mean you're just as i mean i feel like him saying that is just as bad as the little kid that was at the Cavs game and then the war and then the camera was like raised that hand oh, and that's pulled a troll. up the Warriors fan. Man. But that kid's a little kid. Justin Bieber, you're a grown man. You need that, to make that, grown men decisions. That kid was born the same day as Riley Curley was. So <laughs> it's, it's all good. Well, thanks for watching The Huddle. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.